I'm in the park. I'm having a good time. There's a there's a bee or a wasp just... Hi! I have roughly two months before I go to Japan, so I've decided to get serious. Here's what I'm doing. Duolingo. I'm on section 2, unit 7, so at the beginning of this quest I know roughly 1,300 words according to the stats here. I'm a beginner but I'm not starting from nothing, so just wanted to give an overview of what kind of rough level I'm at. Which is low, don't get me wrong. It's just not the bottom of the well. I do the official Japanese memorize courses, so currently I'm on Japanese 1, which is actually the second one by the way, but I guess it's named this way because the Japanese 0 course exists to teach you mostly hiragana and katakana, so it feels like pre-Japanese, it's kind of like the prep and you don't need to do it out in languages that use the Latin alphabet. Anyway, I'm um, 199 words or items into this one right now. Next I use JPDB which is a flashcard system that is brand new to me. Uh, my total known non-redundant vocab on there is at 187 words. Finally Wanny Kenny, kind of a holy grail. Um, I actually use a bootleg Anki version of this. Anki is a spaced repetition system that you will definitely have heard of if you're online and have even a passing interest in learning Japanese. Everybody uses it, but Wanny Kenny is a website for learning kanji. It's really good. I just have a bootleg of it, essentially. And I have currently 668 mature cards in my deck. These are cards I reliably know. And 384 young cards, which are items I'm actively in the process of committing to memory. So these are the stats I'm working with. I've studied Japanese bits and pieces off and on for years, but never really committed to a serious level of study. But I'm going to see what happens in these next two months, show you all the juicy stats, and figure out what goals I can work towards long term. I think when you are moderately interested in learning a language but don't commit hugely, you can spend a lot of time on gaining very little progress and it can feel kind of sad, but I think it's nice to look at it from a different perspective because I think my familiarity with Japanese from a very lazy interaction with studying is going to be really helpful here. I'm not starting from scratch. I know 600 plus kanji I can read on a very basic level and that's great and will help me to learn faster. So gandate to me. <laughs> okay, I'm one month in. And I've slacked. My voice sounds really bad. I'm sick, kind of. The sad truth is that I have slacked <laughs> immediately. I had zero time to study for about 10 days, which I didn't quite anticipate. Uh, but let's look at the progress stats for the month anyway. I'm on Duolingo Section 2, Unit 10, which is apparently 1514 words. I don't think that sounds right. <laughs> I'm actually going to use the lexeme stat from now on instead of the word stat because I think that's a more accurate assessment of the words known. I assume that words must actually include every versional form of a word because I certainly have not learned 200 words in this time, so apparently I know 1075 lexemes. So whatever, that's cool. In the memorize course I have done truly nothing. The count here is at 217 items up from 199. Clearly this is one of the first things I'll neglect. I'll try to get back into it for the coming month but memorize it. Mm. The thing is that you really have to listen to it and a lot of the time I like to do whatever I'm doing silently so that gets neglected. You know I can't do it out and about. I have to be fully focused. My JPDB non-redundant vocab is at 208 up from 187. Again just like memorize this one has been massively neglected, very sad, but there's something immediately fun about returning to it. I love how clean it is, I love how immediate it feels. I need to do more of that. Memorize feels kind of clunky, it has a lot of glitches, there's stuff where the sound doesn't play correctly or the sound plays really really low volume for some reason, it's constantly bugging you to buy a subscription which I will never do in my life. It's kind of annoying, it's probably the most annoying thing that I use but I find it kind of has unique benefits that keep me using it. It has the real people. 
speaking Japanese, which nothing else I use has. You know, you get to watch a little video. It's really cute. It's really great. It feels more conversational than other things. The way it teaches you, the things it teaches you, I really like that. So Memorize is something I want to stick to, but it's something that easily gets put on the lowest priority of the different tools that I use. But JPDB feels very clean and easy to come back to. Finally, the Anki Kanji deck is at 798 mature cards up from 668. Now this is a thing I will never neglect because if you ignore this bad boy for one day, you have 500,000 reviews the next day and you want to decapitate yourself and kick your little head into space. So I did these reviews as much as possible, even for days I was super busy. And I think one reason why also that I kept up with this was that you can literally do one review and then exit out and you can do it offline from anywhere. So like many people studying Japanese, I am an Anki respecter and I'm very happy with the progress there. And I can really feel the recognition I'm building with these kanji impacting my other study. It is the building blocks of the language and so it feels like it makes a big impact and I'm excited to learn them. <laughs> I think for a long time I struggled a lot with kanji because it can feel so insane and impossible to get them into your head. Some are just harder to remember than others, no matter what you do, seemingly. But now I'm a kanji head. I'm, I feel like I'm getting more into the zone and able to learn them quicker. I don't know. My new favorite is this one, which means mutual. I found it really memorable, partly because I'm thinking of Twitter mutuals, big brain, and partly because the image the two radicals create here is immediately really strong. It's a tree and an eye. The shri is looking at you with its eye. You're looking back. You're staring at each other. Mutually. Beautiful. And that stuff is exactly what I love about this writing system. Why is it like that? I don't know, but I have so many things to find out about. So that's great. I'm happiest with that. That feels like I'm really solidly going to keep doing it. I'm in the routine. We're getting somewhere. I'd like to see my Lexemes on Duolingo go up to 3,000. That is, I would say that's my next goal because that's roughly where I am in French and it feels a lot, you can really feel when you know 3,000 words, you're becoming someone who kind of, kind of gets it. Also, here's my weekly progress report from Duolingo for the 16th of September, which was literally the day I flew home from the extremely packed 10 days I had in Canada. And you can see that I've earned 58% less experience that week, but I'm still surpassing 94% of Duolingo learners. So who's really winning? It's me. So for the next month, I'm sure I will be able to study more than I did this month, and we'll just, we'll have to see where it ends up. Ooh. All right, Blumpkin, so we're now at the end of this little experiment, but before I give you the final figures, I want to talk about Duolingo's Kanji edition. So last month I got the update that added Kanji to a separate tab within the app that teaches you individual characters. Before this just had the two Japanese syllabaries, hiragana and katakana, but now it has the big boys. The kanji are here, you can study them separately, and I am so happy about this. For a long time, one of the major issues with Japanese on Duolingo was that because it didn't introduce you to kanji separately, it ended up throwing kanji-filled sentences at you, which is just really overwhelming for a beginner. Obviously, since there are so many kanji used in the language compared to the 46 characters that make up the syllabaries, or 48 if you include we and where, which nobody does, it's a pretty big undertaking to include a way to learn them separately, so to use Duolingo effectively, you needed to do your candy study somewhere else. I'd still recommend studying them externally, like I said, when you can, it's amazing, it's good, uh, but now you can study kanji separately inside Duolingo, so it's that much more accessible to a beginner, and it's very exciting to me. So I've started including kanji study in my Duolingo sessions, which is actually the only way I engage with stroke order. So thank you Duolingo for making me actually engage with the concept of stroke order for a second, not something I've really paid much attention to before, but I like it. It's it's useful. It's it's nice. Now, onto the final stats. Here's a breakdown of what I've learned in 2 months. It is not a lot. Um, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. On Duolingo, 1,167 words. On Memorize, 265 words into the Japanese 1 course, up from an initial 199. On JPDB, 260 vocab words, up from 187. For the Wen Kenny deck, 883 mature cards, up from 668. So a modest improvement overall, but by far the biggest impact is in Kanji study, and I noticed the difference there with almost 
200 cards up. Here's the sleigh of the evening. For final comments, uh, I would say time management has been an issue throughout this little journey. I definitely neglected Memorize and JPDB overall in favor of Duolingo and Anki slash Wanny Kenny. I think that there's a sense that I'm gaining a more solid grasp of the basics and the structure of the language from Duolingo and Anki, and so I favor more time with them and less time with the others. Um, I kind of just enjoy them more, I don't know. I think I'll actually stop using Memorize and JPD for now and just focus on raw kanji and Duolingo to slowly build up the vocab alongside that. I think it's easy to get stuck in thinking about uh, what tools you're using. I think it's also easy to use a thousand different tools and just be like, ooh, a new thingy, ooh, a new thingy. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pair it back and just do these two guys and then move on to something else once I feel that that's no longer um, really fun and giving me progression. I'm really happy with my progress overall and I think the obvious next goal is to shoot for 1000 kanji cards in long-term memory which I'm not that far away from at this point so nice I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Anyway I'm in Japan now I'm gonna go consult the Snoopies. Uh, bye!